Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafted by Norma. Um, I was given some of these large wavy paper clips um, by my granddaughter to see if they were of any use to me and uh, I couldn't think for uh, a little while what I could do with them so in the end I've gone and made these little um, paper clip additions to go into my um, journals. Sometimes you just need something to stay together, uh, especially when I'm doing notebooks and um, some of the uh, other bits and pieces that I'd like to keep together. So I've gone and made these. Now, it's not my idea. I'm sure someone else has come along with something very, very similar in, in the past. Um, so, it, as I say, it's not my idea. And whoever it was, um, it was a great idea. So I'm just doing my... Um, my style on them. So I've done some ones with uh, brown card, brown paper and paper bag. This was actually a paper uh, shopping bag. And then these I've gone and done as more sort of floral. Um, again, just using scraps of paper that, uh, and card that I had left uh, left over. So again, as part of my um, make, do and make, um, trying to use up scraps and bits and pieces that I've still got. And then this was just a sort of like one-off because it was some paper that I had left from a, a journal. So uh, I just made that that one, which isn't, I suppose you could say it's floral really. So uh, I'm going to show you how I uh, actually made them. So obviously you need your paper clips and you need some uh, cardstock. So I've got here just some, I'll get rid of these, hang on a second. Let's just move these to there. Uh, I've just got some cardstock that I've got hanging around, bits and pieces that um, I've gone and used. This was a paper that I didn't particularly like, so I've stamped on it and I've gone and put some um, spray inks on it, so I thought I might use that. That's a little piece of card that I've got left over again. And a bigger piece. And then just a piece of craft card, which has got pink lines on it, which I don't particularly like, but I do like the craft uh, craft card. So to start off with we need a piece of card that's going to be uh, cut into thirds. So what I'll probably do is start with this one and I'll cut that down the centre there. You can make these any size that you want with any size paper clip but because I've got these paper clips that's the 76 centimetre um, I just thought that I'd make them to suit. So you just want to make sure that when the paper clip goes on, like so, that uh, it's not po poking out at uh, any end. So I've cut that one down there at three and three quarters. And then I'm going to fold it over. So one, two. So I'll probably get away with cutting that. Let's see how big it is. It's six, seven, eight and a half. So if I said a four and a quarter should be about right. I'm not far off. And the same with that one. They're going to be a bit thinner, I think. There we go. So I've cut those down to, to sort of size. And then um, that one's going to be a bit long, I think, but should be okay as it is. And again with this one, I'll do some black and I'll do some on the uh, the cream. I'll go four and a half on that one and I'll keep that into my little stash. It's going to be quite a fat one. And then with this, I might as well go along with the line that's already there. So if I go like that, trim this off again. And what I might do with these is, if I make quite a few, I might put some on my Etsy shop, uh, so you can buy them as a little uh, a little pack of mixed ones. Um, something I just may well consider doing. So again, we'll do those about four and a quarter ish. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some spare card there. Just going to move that one out of the way. And then all we're going to then look at is just folding them over to make sure that they're um, a reasonable size. 
so let's see. So I'm going to fold that one into about there, trying to make sure that it's straight. Oh, I'm using a bank card. Other banks are available. It's an, an old bank card um, of my husband's. There we go, like that. Like that. And I'm just using this as a as a bone folder because it was to hand. Okay. So that's the sort of size that we're wanting. And then I'm just going to make a little hole there if I can find. And I can't. Just let me just check. In the other bag. My one inch hole. Oh, and I've treated myself. I don't normally treat myself. I'm trying not to. But I bought a little tiny half inch. Um, and I think it's stamping up a little punch. Because I keep saying to myself, I'm not going to buy anything unless I really, 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 really need it. And I decided I really, really, really needed a half inch punch. So I treated myself. So that's all we've gone and done with that for the time being. So we just cut that down like so. And I'll do the same again just to highlight what I've done. Keeping that straight. Just going along like that. Turning it over and going. So you don't want this to the end. You want to have a little tiny gap because when we've finished it you're going to have space to slot things in like so so it becomes a little a little pocket to um, pop things in there we go. that's it now if it's not quite straight just like that one's not quite straight you can always just go over and trim it down um, so it's nice and neat. If your uh, paper's perhaps just not quite as squared off as you thought. There we go. So they're quite easy to to twiddle with. Let's just see. Did I say that was going to be to I'll use I'll use this one. I think. So that's going to go to there, like so. Same with this one. And usually when I make something, I don't just make one. I try my best to make um, a few of them because um, I can know I'm going to use them in another journal at some stage or other. Or I might even do a, a swap um, with somebody. Okay. Well, they'll do for the time being those four, I think. So let's just move everything else out of the way. So the next we're going to do is we're going to secure the paper clip into the little uh, folded pocket. And the way we're going to do that is to slide it down to the very, very end to make sure that it fits and we're quite happy with that. Okay, so we've got four, so we need four paper clips. One, two, three... Four. and I like to just garnish mine so to speak with just a little, little tassel of something now you can use lace cheesecloth ribbon the world is your oyster but um, I've got uh, here on my desk uh, just a little piece of uh, cheesecloth so I'm just going to cut all right if my scissors will allow me now these are serrated so they're not doing a particularly good job. Ooh. So I need four. That's two. Oh, get off. Obviously got some glue on it from somewhere. Three. 
But as I say, you can use anything that you want to um, embellish it. You can use paper, ribbon, as I say, cheesecloth, lace. Um, but as I say, I've got uh, just this little bit of uh, cheesecloth that's here. And I'm just going to pop that through. Now I'm going to pop it through the end because you've got an end where there's just one curl and then you've got an end that's got the two curls. I want it on the top one because that's where it's going to be um, slid onto the uh, the cardstock. And then I'm just going to tie this off. So I'm holding that there, getting a piece of twine. And again, you can use, uh, as I say, some thin ribbon, some string. Um, you can use, um, I don't even know what this, this is crocheting um, thread, I think, if I remember rightly. But you could use some um, embroidery silks. You could colour coordinate them. You could do, really, whatever you uh, you fancy. Now that's a bit, those are a bit long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim those off, like so. And I'm quite happy with uh, with that. And you just do that to them, to them all. There you go. So again, the end where this, the single curl is, like so. I suppose you could use uh, washi tape uh, as well. It's folded over on itself. I don't use washi tape an awful lot. Um, I have got some and I do use it occasionally but uh, it's not something I use on a regular basis so I might have to have a look at how I can uh, utilise the stock that I've got. Because I have got some quite quite nice ones, really. There we go. Let's just tie that one more time. I like that. There we go. That's it. I'm not quite happy with that one. So what I'm going to do is put those to one side and I'll finish those off a, a bit later. But for this exercise, we can just show you what it is that uh, that we're going to do. Because we're going to end up with it looking a bit like that. So, we're going to get our card. We're going to slide it in, like so, right to the end. So that is at the top, like that. And then we're just going to use everyday sellotape, which I'm sure most people will have in their home. So it's just clear um, tape, sticky tape. We've got a ha habit of calling our, all our tapes sellotape, even though it might not be made by the manufacturer. I can't find the end. Um, sellotape instead of just clear tape. It's like uh, your vacuum cleaner. Um, everyone calls it the Hoover because Hoover was the first company um, that made them in the UK that was affordable to most housewives. So you always say... Oh, I'll go and get the Hoover out, even though it might not be the manufacturer being Hoover. And it's strange how things uh, stay in your mind. So that's just going to hold that there quite securely. So we'll do it again. This set. We'll do it on the black one, I think. So the small one goes to the outside, and the big one goes to the inside going to center it and we're just going to put some sticky tape on like so now obviously if you haven't got sticky tape you can use double-sided tape you could use um, a piece of card with some glue on it but I would have thought that most people would have had the uh, the tape on it okay so we're quite happy with with how that's looking now you can, if you want to, stitch across it, now, which I did do with a couple of mine, but I had issues with uh, breaking my needle. So as you can see across there, this is the first one I did, which was fine. Uh, I had no, no issues at all, but the second one, I broke a needle, and the third one, I broke a needle, so I decided to stop. 
uh, but so you can have a go and I think mainly it's because this is so thick obviously if you're using a smaller um, size paper clip you wouldn't have those uh, those issues so the next thing we're going to do is just glue down and along now you don't have to use wet glue if you don't want to you could always use a double-sided tape but um, I my preference is wet glue I'll just get mine out so my, mine is my preference, as I say, is, is wet glue. Uh, I find that it sticks for longer. And because I sell a uh, majority of my journals, I want them to last. And I find that if you utilise uh, the double-sided sticky tape, eventually it will uh, disintegrate. So all we're going to do is... I'm not wanting to come out. Let's just give it a little poke. There we go. Um, so you can use, as say, sticky tape if you uh, so wanted. So that just goes like that, and along there, and along there, and up there, and then along there. Now the side that we've got the little curve on, we don't want to put glue on that side. But we want it to fold over there like so and then we want that one to fold over like so so the reason we don't want to put glue there is because that's going to become a pocket just like that and then what i am going to do i'm just going to hold that in place with a couple of uh, bulldog clips so i'll put the big one there like so and i'll put two smaller ones or two small paper clips in actual fact there we are, two small paper clips there just to hold that while it's the glue settles. That's it. Lovely. And then we're going to do the same with this one. So we're not going to put glue across the one that's got the curve in it because we've got already cut that out and that's what, what's going to form the pocket. But we do want to go along the edge of the other end. like so okay and we're going to fold that over just like that Oop. and again that's going to come over like so and again we can put a bulldog clip or a peg or whatever it is that you've got a tendency to use to hold things together there we go so I have a mixture of, of clips and the likes. Okay. So we've now got, here's a couple that I made uh, earlier. So we've now got our little pockets folded. Now you can, if you want to have your pockets in different, direction so this one that I've got goes that way and then I've also done one that's pointing that way okay so once they're sorted what I like to do is add some more embellishments so I have in a previous um, video explained that I got a very old paper um, drying kit for flowers and uh, when I opened it there was some flowers now these are the ones that was left so these are the ones that I've used to make um, some oh what would you call them oh by, by, by botanical I can't even say it botanical um, samples like that and I've cut the square out so some of them the square they were too small to fit in the square so I thought well I can uh, I can use those to do something else with so all I'm going to do is cut these down to make little little tags I suppose the word is isn't it yeah to make some little tags 
going to trim those down like so and obviously you can utilize anything that you really want in any size so this was just one of the ideas because i had these left over and again make do and mend or make do and make like so trim that down a bit there and a bit there and a bit there get rid of all these little bits that we don't need and then just make a, a small hole in them ready to punch through my little labels and because I did that with the flowers I also have this brilliant bright idea and I did some with stamps so I'm just going to get my my book out with all my bits in and now if I can should find some stamps somewhere no, where did I put them I know I've got them somewhere ah right here they are so these are all stamps get my little selection out these are all stamps that um, I had loose and I also put them through the laminator and I've laminated them and some of them I've made into, I don't know if you can see that one very well, um, made them into little little labels and little cards to add to various things um, using exactly the same principle as I have done the dry flowers where I just put them through a laminator and uh, laminated them. So I'm going to be using uh, some of those uh, today. I'll just put those there for the time being. So. Once you've done that, you've got those ready. The other thing that I like is to add a stamp. Now the stamps that I've got are um, of pens, nibs. And because most of the journaling, um, I thought it was quite nice to have these um, pens and make them into little uh, labels as well. So again, all I've gone and done is got a scrap piece of paper, lined it across there like so, and then just printed on one side. Oops, there we go. go and cut those down as well not particularly good at straight cutting I must admit okay so I've got that one and that one and then we've got that one okay get rid of those bits get rid of the inks now I can honestly say I don't know who the company is that made them but I got the stamp itself from um, my local uh, art shop and she had them on sale uh, and I, I purchased uh, all of them and she had about five and I, I purchased the whole five uh, and that was due to the fact that when I was doing my workshops which unfortunately I'm not able to do at the moment because of the uh, pandemic um, I could utilise them in my uh, my workshop but I've got no idea what the company was Right, okay, so we've got those, and we've got those, and we've got that. And then I'm just going to add those then to... Um, going to add those then to my little labels. And the way I've done that is just by using the ball clips. But you can use uh, safety pins. Uh, you can use... You can actually tie them off if you wanted to. So it's just a case of going through... them all now you can either put them a flower on top or you can put the uh, flower underneath um, you can garnish them whatever way that you would like to garnish them and you just thread that through 
through there like so. There we go. And hey presto, you've got your label. So with this one that I just did before, I'm just going to go around the edges with some Distress Ink. Oops. Just to age the, the edges just a little bit. Like so. There we go. Now because I'm doing a Japanese journal shortly, I'm going to keep that one and put some Japanese uh, images on it, um, ready for um, for that journal. And this one I'll probably keep for a journal that I'm doing with the Secret Garden, because these are actually all herbs. So again, just go around the, uh, the edges, like so. And again, you can see where that one's not quite straight. So you can either be brave and do it with scissors and hope that you get a straight line, which that isn't quite, I don't think. No, it isn't, so let's, uh, let's do it properly. Oh, I am terrible at it. Cutting straight. There you go. That's better. Much better for that. There we go. And with that one, I quite like the fact that that's a that's a plant a flower of some description. So let's just make a little a little hole in that one. And we've got a little hole in that one. And what I might do with this one is actually tie that off with. Um, more of this. There we go. Oh, there we go. Make a little hole in there. Like that. And then slide that through there like that. Turn it over and we'll tie that off. So I'll just put a little tiny bit of glue there that, to hold that in place. That's it. And there we have a selection or an added selection to the The little pockets. Now if you wanted you can add some other bits and pieces um, onto there. You can add some labels which um, I've got somewhere I think. Let's see what labels we've got. And we'll stick a, a label on. Uh, oh that's quite a nice one. quite like that one. Now these are labels that a digital kit that I got from uh, Etsy, so I will put the link on. Um, where I got um, the label. 
so I've just picked this uh, this label up. As I say, I got them from uh, Etsy, and I will put the link underneath. So I just need to open this up. Now they don't come as self-adhesive. Um, I've actually put the adhesive tape on the back of the uh, the sheet myself. There you go. Put that there like that. There you go. So what I've gone and done is I've just used double-sided, wide double-sided uh, sticky tape. That's two inches. Um, and again, I can give you the link for getting the uh, the, getting the tape. Uh, now I need something that's more sort of oriental. Have I got anything on there which I haven't? So I'm going to leave it because I want to make that more sort of um, oriental. Oh no, it's that one that's going to make oriental, wasn't it? So let's see. So this is more floral. Ooh, 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 ooh. let me just see which one I quite like. Oh, I'll use this one in the corner, Hank. There we go. I just find it's easier to do it um, with the double-sided sticky tape than it is trying to fiddle around with wet glue on little labels, um, if I'm honest. There we go. And it's quite, uh, quite reasonably uh, priced. It was 25 meters for 25 meters for 5.99 from a company called Screwfix. But there's loads on the, the internet. I'm sure that you could um, you could find some. So it's going to go on there like so. Okay. Now the paper that I used was uh, left over from uh, some wedding stationery that I did. So it's got a bit of a a glisten to it, which is uh, is quite nice. So there we go. So we'll just recap. So we've made these out of just the oddments of paper that we had. I've gone and uh, used the paper clips, which um, I know that a company called Banner sell them, and they're the giant seventy six centimeter. They come in packs of a hundred. Um, but as I say, I just got a few uh, passed to me by my uh, granddaughter. Um, they are then just folded over card, any size, depending on obviously on the size of your paper clips. We folded it. Uh, we've made sure that we've put the paper clip in quite secure. And what we've gone and done with the paper clip is just put a little tiny piece of ribbon cord. Um, cheesecloth or whatever just to give it a bit of a tag uh, at the top slid it in making sure that it goes centre to that that card that's been folded in three and we've got the smaller one on the uh, outside and then we've secured that down with some sticky tape we've gone and glued along three edges folded it over and put it down making sure that we don't glue the bit that's got the, the cut out because that's where our pocket's going to be uh, we've just gone then quickly and gone round the edges uh, just to age the paper and just to give it a bit of a, an aged look, like so, on both sides. Although you don't have to do both sides, but I do both sides. Uh, we then have gone and garnished it or um, um, put some bits and pieces on to just to make it look um, more well embellish them really isn't it that's the word I was sort of looking for and as I say I've gone and done mine floral and I've also done mine with the brown card and the brown card ones I've actually just gone and put um, old stamps on on there and then um, if I haven't put an old stamp on there I've gone and put one of my laminated um, stamps and made them into a little um, a little tag um, and that's it really. They're quite simple, they're just utilising all your old stock and hopefully I've just given you some ideas of what you, you can do. It's, as I say, it's not my, the original is not my idea. Uh, I just 
thought that I would have a go at doing these and as I say I'm sure someone else has gone and done it uh, in the past uh, but that's just my idea, my take on utilising these really really large uh, paper clips so thank you for watching uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed please do if you want to ask a question again please do I try and reply to uh, all of you and don't forget to hit the uh, bell uh, icon because that will give you the heads up when I've done another video and also um, I've now passed the 1000 subscribers so thank you so much I do appreciate the fact that you do uh, follow me and you will probably see some of the bits and pieces that I've got uh, into my Etsy shop which is Crafted by Norma and you can also follow me on Instagram Crafted by Norma which I put all my work because this is just part, a small part of the work that um, I do so thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon thanks very much Bye.